Welcome back everybody. As you probably guessed by either the thumbnail or the title, we are going over a body armor pillow today. So when RTS first brought this up to me, I kind of laughed at them, but after I saw what the actual pillow design looked like, I was like, that's genius. And you guys are gonna see why here in a second. But first off, they come in both level three and level three plus. Level three plus is kind of a, a dodgy rating. There's no actual NIJ certification for it. Um, but level three and level three, uh, rather 3A and 3A plus, um, should stop everything up to 357 Magnum shotguns. Um, 44 Magnum, etc., and everything underneath. We're gonna find that out here in just a couple minutes. But I wanna go over to the design of the pillow because it's smart. Um, so first off, it's memory foam. I'll put all the hypoallergenic stuff here on the screen so you guys can check that out because I know for a lot of you guys it's important because obviously it's armor, but it's also a pillow, right? So it's fully functional. I've been sleeping on mine for the last three days. And obviously when it ships to you, it's clean. I dropped mine in the clay out here today. So that's why it's dirty. It's not going to ship to you dirty, fear not. Um, so we have this zipper here. It separates two pieces of memory foam. And uh, when we open it up there, obviously it's all washable and all of that jazz and made in the United States as all the RTS stuff is. I believe it's all that in Florida. Um, but then you see that we do have our 20 by 30 panel in here. And this one here is level three plus. So with that, um, it, again, it's gonna stop what we talked about, but additionally it's strapped in here. So that way you have like a known point of where the armor is when you're carrying it, which we will show you here in just a second, but obviously it's not going anywhere, not moving at all. It's obviously a lightweight panel that flexes a little bit. The only time I could feel this is not when I was like sleeping, but I put it on the couch and kind of laid against it just to kind of see if it would give like extra support that regular pillows don't give, memory foam pillows for that matter, and it does. Um, so that's kind of nice. Um, but the thing that makes this an ingenious design in my opinion, is the fact that they included these handles on there. So if you have a pillowcase that is like a one directional pillowcase, like you just slide it in, if that makes sense, you can just grab this. And then at this point, it is mobile armor. So you can walk through your house, uh, really wherever you want to at this point, have a pistol here or like a little SBR or something like that over the top and protect your vitals in whatever direction you're going. Cause obviously um, body armor on your person is good, but if you can direct it towards the threat, in my opinion, that's even better uh, because in let's say a home defense type scenario, because it's your house, you're going to know where a bad guy would be and where they would be engaging from. Um, just just kind of common sense to anybody who's done any training. So to have that full 13 by 20 panel protecting your, your vitals is huge. And a lot of people simply aren't comfortable having a actual uh, shield for whatever reason. Uh, I've done plenty of shield videos on the channel here, tested lots of them. They're great. Um, but so nobody's really, you know, afraid to have a pillow in their house. If it, having a pillow in your house isn't going to raise any alarms, anything like that. Whereas an armor shield, depending on where you live, might. Like where I live, people are like, dude, you got an armor shield? That's cool. <laughs> like some of you guys don't live in those types of scenarios. And I get that. So uh, it should stop. Like I said, everything up to 357 Magnum, 44 Magnum and everything underneath. We are going to test that here in a couple minutes. But yeah, I just really like that design. That's just smart. It's well thought out box stitching in there so it's not going to come apart on you it should last a long time and uh, in terms of just the pillow experience because I've been sleeping on it um, as you can see it's kind of large with the memory foam if you're a, a belly sleeper it might be a little big for you uh, but if you sleep on your back or side it's about perfect in my opinion but that's for me who knows regardless let's get it set up we're going to put some dirt behind it so that way it has some give to it like it would if you were actually holding it and got shot and uh, we're going to start shooting a thing Let's do it. As we typically do here on the channel, we're gonna start small and go big. We have the armor about eight yards downrange, so muscle velocity distance. LCR here with some 158 grain uh, lead bullets in there with the excess sights front dot. Let's see. Let's check it out. As y'all can see, that is our entrance hole. No exit hole at all. Um, I think as we get a little bit bigger round, spicier stuff in there, I'm gonna open it up and look at the panel, but for now, no need, we're just gonna keep going. Up next, we have some 124 grain minute ammunition, nine millimeter coming out of the A-Rex Delta M. Uh, so nine mil should be a lot stronger than what we just saw. Let's check it out. Yeah. 
Once again, we had our nine millimeter entrance hole. You can see it probably moved a little bit more in that slow motion, but absolutely nothing passed through. Continuing on up in power factor, we have 185 grain jacketed hollow points from Remington Ammunition, 45 ACP, of course, going through the UMP with the long barrel. So for 45, it's gonna be screaming. Let's check it out. So I just grabbed the pillow. I haven't messed with it at all, but I think I might here in just a second. Show you guys, we had three of those rounds go on target entrance and no exits at all. This stretching, if I had to guess, is probably that armor panel flexing a little bit because I probably hit it right near the edge with that one. And uh, I'm just gonna straighten it out, make sure everything's straight. And as I guessed, that's exactly what it is. So I'm just gonna straighten it out, make sure the stuff that we actually keep shooting at it is gonna hit on the panel and keep on pushing. Up next, we have some high brass buckshot here, nine pellet, I believe, from Remington, and a fire out of my 590 short barrel shotgun. And uh, I think it's gonna do something to it. We're, we'll see. <laughs> Let's check it out. For those of y'all that don't know much about buckshot, essentially we had nine nine millimeter bullets hitting it right there all at once. Definitely a lot of power to absorb. We had a little bit of flexing there of the bullet and of course the armor panel, but absolutely no pass-throughs. Flatten it back out, we'll keep going. At this point, we're gonna push it right to the edge of what it is rated for. We have our 686 plus Smith & Wesson with four inch uh, barrel. 180 grain swift A-frame, 357 Magnum. So full house load coming out of a decently long barrel. Again, this is the limit of what it is rated for. Let's check it out. As y'all saw there, that is our entrance point right there. And absolutely nothing, did not pass through. So it lived up to the level 3A rating. But we're not a boring YouTube channel. It's not what we do here. We're gonna keep going, keep pushing, see what it will and won't stop and go bigger. The next load up, it is 1000% not rated for. Just wanna get that out there, but we're trying it anyway. So we have some Underwood ammo, thanks to them. Appreciate it. And it is a 300 grain XTP 460 Smith & Wesson Magnum. Not only that, <laughs> but this is the XBR version of it. So it's got the full eight inch barrel on there. My front, front sight just shot off in another test, but we're gonna shoot it anyway and see if we can get a hit on there with no front sight. Ooh, this thing's got some power. Oh. <laughs> Let's check it out. Y'all would know better than me at this point where the entrance hole is, but lots of entrance holes. The important thing is there's no exit hole. Now I'd be willing to bet it deformed that armor a good bit. But one thing that's cool about having that memory foam there, one thing people always talk about level three armor is like, oh, you're, you're, you break your back or whatever, or your lungs or depending on where it hits. And with this memory foam, I don't think you would. I think you'd be good. So. You guys can see there it did. It pushed it all the way in. It came a little bit out of its hook. We're gonna flatten it out, rehook it up, and then keep going. Once again, we are continuing with a round that is absolutely not rated for. So some 40 grain, uh, 5.7, coming out of my 5.7 rock here, full length barrel. And uh, again, not rated for this at all. I have no idea if it's gonna stop it or not. Uh, 3A armor is like 50-50 on this, typically when we test it. So let's find out. Let's see. As y'all saw there, we had our entry hole there and it didn't really react a lot, which tells you something. 
it tells you it probably went through. So let me just make sure that it actually hit the armor panel itself. Cause again, I just repositioned it due to what we were doing here. And it did. So it did hit the armor. It didn't stop it. Again, guys, it is not ready for that. That's the pass through right there. Hopefully you guys can see that. Maybe I need to come in closer. But yeah, that's our pass through right there. Again, it is not rated for that. Absolutely not rated for it. One other round I wanna try on it and then uh, we'll probably close it out after that. But yeah, we'll keep going. Once again, we have a round that is not rated for. This is 220 grain, Remington, 300 blackout, Subsonics. The reason I use this is obviously it stops some 45. And a lot of people always say in armor tests, that 300 blackout subsonic has a similar energy to 45, which it does. It's absolutely true. But it has a totally different ballistic coefficient, which really changes how it impacts armor. So I suspect it'll go through, but you never know here on the channel. I've been surprised before. Let's see. Let's check it out. When we change locations here on the channel, that's generally not a good sign. I actually had something that I think is a little bit interesting with this 300 blackout round. So that was our entrance was right in here. Um, and of course, out, out the back there, we have penetration, but it shifted. And it wasn't at an angle or anything like that, so it turned. So I'm actually interested to see what happened with the uh, panel itself. If anything kind of weird is going on there, like the jacket stuck or something like that. But again, not ready for that, but... Yeah, so I had to re-strap these down as you guys saw the actual panel itself. But yeah, so it looks like it just turned in, in the panel. Interesting. So, whoa. It's harder to get out than I thought. So there you see, that is the exit hole right there. And one big difference there between the 5.7, which went through with no real you know, obstruction at all, that 300 blackout was close to stopping. I guarantee it, that's why it turned like that. But all that stuff being pulled through, that's an indication that it's grabbing the bullet and trying to slow it down. But other than that, guys, you can see all the different bullet holes that we had there, absolutely nothing else went through it all. So clean, good to go. Any of your pistol rounds are gonna be stopped by there. Any of your common use ones and even the non-common use ones like we saw with that 460 Smith & Wesson. And the reality of it is, um, in terms of if you're thinking home defense, crime, those sorts of things, if you look at the data, the overwhelming majority of homicides, burglaries, et cetera, that are done with weapons, are, hit, are, are firearms rather, are done with pistols. It's in the 90 something percentile. So this will give you armor for that. And of course it's discreet. It looks like a regular pillow. And of course it has those uh, little uh, handles there, which will help you maneuver well with it. Um, I think it's a pretty cool product. I gotta admit, um, I ordered one as well. So I have one and it's going to be staying with me. That is for sure. I definitely dig it. Uh, one thing some of you guys might ask is, is it a directional panel? It's not. So any direction you want to set it up in, you're good to go um, because it's UHW MPE, which is a polyethylene. So it doesn't matter which way it's getting hit from. It's going to stop everything in just the same. Very cool product. And uh, I suppose you guys are asking right now at this point in time, well, Mike, what does it cost? Well, again, we have to remember it is made in America, which is rare for armors these days. Um, and uh, the level three alpha, version of it is going to be as of right now when this video is happening i know it changes it's going to be 399 dollars, and then the 3a plus version of it a special threat version is going to be 499 dollars. so obviously that's expensive for a pillow for a shield it's relatively cheap actually and i do like that you get that impact protection should you ever actually have to use it in real life that is nice uh, it would make a difference i would imagine if somebody is shooting at you and you have that memory foam to sort of uh, offer a little bit of resistance for you. So with that, guys, I think we'll close the video out. If you have any questions, anything like that, you can post them down below in the comments section. Uh, you can post them at my various social media sites here that are on your screen. If you're not following me there, please go ahead and do so. I post all kinds of cool stuff. If this thing goes on sale, it will be up on my social media first. Additionally, if you like this type of video and you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. We do a lot of armor testing here on the channel. And uh, if you've done that and you're still not seeing two to four videos a week, you can sign up for my email at the website here on your screen. This, and in this email, it just has all of the videos since the previous month's email went out. So that way there's no big tech giant censoring your eyes for my content. It goes VFR direct from me 
to you. So that is nice. And then additionally, should this go on sale, like we talked about social media, but also my daily deals email, which is fire. Um, we have a virtually zero unsubscribe rate because what I put in there is six or seven of the best deals that I find around the internet on firearms, ammo, pillows, whatever the case may be. And if it's in that email, it's the cheapest I know of anywhere on the internet that day. So it saves you guys some time and money because I've done the searching for you, the price comparison for you, and hopefully saves you some time as well. So you don't have to do that. And uh, yeah, it's awesome. Sign up for it. It's good. And with that, we'll close the video out. Thank you all for watching. I truly appreciate it. I look forward to seeing everybody in the next video.